The purpose of this video is to make an announcement and also to request feedback from anyone that's interested in vintage computers such as the Altair machine. If you've been watching my videos or if you've been to my website then you'll know that for quite a few years now I've been reproducing vintage computer boards such as this one and I do them to various standards anything from uh, new design boards such as the 64k RAM board that I made uh, to this one which is a true to form replica of the original Altair board and it's true to form right down to the silt screen uh, the placement of every single track is within a very small fraction of a millimeter of the original and uh, it's intended to give exactly the same appearance and feel as the original board and this particular um, board is of course intended for the 8800. The 8800 is a very popular Altair machine quite a few were built and they are again picking up in popularity and they are a very interesting machine to use they're quite unusual in terms of their operation a great deal of fun to use if you're into vintage computing um, the only downside with them is they're a bit on the bulky side and they do take up quite a bit of space and there are other issues in the way that the uh, front panel works so there's no uh, monitor uh, code in this it's all done through hardware and um, one of the machines that's a kind of a small brother to this machine is uh, very rare very hard to find and that's really what this video is about a good friend and I have been discussing now for several years the possibility of reproducing the small brother to this machine and if you haven't ever seen one it's this So this is, as you can see, an Altair 680. It's uh, very much smaller than the 8800 and it performs in a very similar way in terms of its operation and functionality. Same type of interface, um, but this has a, a monitor program that runs and in general these can do almost as much as the 8800. Um, but being much smaller it is of course much more practical uh, however these are extremely rare now the idea here is to do a true to form reproduction of one of these I'll just get the 8800 out of the way and then I'll explain what the plan of action is that uh, we are intending to put together for the reproduction so as you can see the 680 is very much smaller than the 8800 and in fact if I put the memory board I showed a few minutes ago in front of it you can see it's very much smaller than the 8800 quite a nice compact machine but as I say the problem with them is they're extremely rare and the uh, idea that uh, we're proposing and it's something that as I say we've been discussing for a number of years now is to make exact duplicates of uh, not just the boards but also the case as well. Now I'm aware that um, there have been various uh, people doing this sort of thing over the years um, but what we're proposing here is to make these available long term so uh, it's quite a, a task and quite an undertaking to uh, develop the metalwork and the uh, boards and everything else that goes along with this. Uh, so we want to do it in a, uh, a way that gives an exact reproduction vents, front panel, uh, Pantone colours for the case, the texture, um, the fonts and that goes right through to the PCBs as well so the PCBs themselves will be exact duplications of the originals. Now most of the reproductions that we've seen over the years have made some concessions to uh, more modern manufacture and I'll be unwinding quite a bit of that and going back to uh, exact duplicates of the original and that will include the power supply within the unit, uh, transformers, uh, the wiring, everything will be done uh, as closely as possible to the original design and the idea is to get a machine that if you put alongside an original would look identical both internally and externally. 
We will of course be identifying them as reproductions, we won't be trying to fool anyone into thinking they are genuine originals, uh, but we want it to be almost impossible to tell them apart other than the fact that uh, we'll have our own serial label on the back. So our plan is to um, supply these as short kits and by a short kit what I mean is all the parts you can't get anywhere else such as the enclosure, the bare PCBs, uh, the panels, everything that you can't get elsewhere uh, will provide in a kit and then the documentation pack that we'll provide will give all the information that's required to uh, fully assemble a working unit. So it's quite an involved process. Uh, we've been gathering all the information that we need to do this and what we need now is some feedback from uh, yourselves as to is this something that you would be interested in? If we make these available uh, is it something that you'd want to purchase? I can't really give you a price just yet. This is going to really depend on the amount of interest that we get and that's really what's going to drive this is um, we're hoping that there's going to be sufficient interest and demand for these that uh, we can really make them available for the foreseeable future and, and that's kind of what we're aiming for we don't want this to just be a, a flash in the pan just make a few and then stop doing it we want to make these available long term and again if you've um, been um, buying parts off me then you know that um, once I start supplying a part it's available indefinitely and um, boards I uh, replicated 10 years ago I'm still supplying so um, I've got no intention of just making a small batch and then stopping and also as I say it's uh, getting feedback from uh, yourselves as to exactly what you'd be looking for in terms of a kit I can't guarantee that we'd be able to provide everything you want in terms of a part supply but all the parts that we don't supply and uh, we'd make sure are readily available elsewhere and um, the only thing we're missing is a couple of the accessory boards um, that we'd like to include the the basic boards the ones that we need to have to make these work we've got and we can uh, easily um, uh, finish the reproductions for those um, but some of the accessory boards if you do have any that you could uh, lend to me for a couple of weeks um, I'd very much appreciate it and the reason that we like to have original boards is to make sure that the um, reproductions that we're producing are as true to form as possible and the best way for us to do that is to uh, examine very closely and uh, scan an original board or two. So if you do have any boards that you're willing to uh, lend us for a, a short time then please let me know. Uh, if you're interested in uh, this project then again please let me know and uh, any feedback on this would be much appreciated. Um, in terms of time scale we're hoping to uh, get these available in the next six months or so and um, as I say it really depends on the level of interest and feedback that we get.